All right. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our first Sunday service. Thank you. For the month of July. And today is a communion Sunday. And today is also our last day. Aww. And uh, we're live sa Facebook para mapanood tayo ng mga uh, kasama natin, members and attendees na hindi nakasama dito. So everybody say hi! Hi! Yan, so... Alright, so what do we have for today? We will have our communion service later. Okay, excited pa sila lahat. And then later, we will have a dedication service, a dedication of a, of a child. No? So, ang dami na nangyari, right? Nagkaroon na ng birthday celebration. Meron ng uh, mamaya, may child dedication. May water baptism. Wedding na lang kulang eh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> House blessing. <laughs> Ayo Jai. All right. So, hintay-hintay lang natin. Announcement. Abang hinihintay natin yung tech team. Uh, after the service, meron pa tayong isang uh, lunch. Right? Uh, before lunch, ilagay nyo na sa kotse nyo. Put all your stuff inside your car. So after the lunch, we will be uh, gathered for our uh, group picture for our website. Okay? If you don't know our website, lafilnaz.org. Facebook naman, LA First Filipino Church of the Nazarene uh, Facebook page. So Facebook group naman, La Filnaz Facebook group. Alright? So Instagram, La Filnaz, at La Filnaz. YouTube, at La Filnaz. So mapapanood nyo lahat yung inyong mga sarili sa kung saan social media. Alright? So let's start. Welcome back to our walk to the Old Testament. I think we can turn off the lights. Can you turn off the lights? Yeah, para makita niyo yung ano. So welcome back to our walk through the Old Testament series. Ang nakaraan, we started with uh, Exodus 1. Uh, February 20, we talked about Israel being oppressed in Egypt. No? So we're done with the book of Genesis, no? Uh, sa, sa Bible studies natin every Friday at uh, we launch yung series of walk through the Old Testament uh, we're now in the book of Exodus and then we also have an alternating series yung walk through the New Testament and uh, we are in the book of Mark okay so why are we doing this we are trying to familiarize ourselves sa Bible no kasi bakit Diba? Yesterday, remember, you got milk? Gusto mong tumibay? Kailangan mo ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? So, kanina, papansin nyo, dalawang umaga na kayo, gumigising kayo ng maaga, kahit puyat na puyat. Why? Kasi nagde-devotion. Sino dito nakaka-enjoy ng devotion? Yes. Sino dito yung mga iyakin? <laughs> Balita ko, madaming umiiyak pag devotion. Ayan. Alam niya, tuwing umaga, masarap makipagniig sa Panginoon. Kaya we are trying to promote na hindi lamang sa camp that devotion will not stop here in Pinecrest, but when we go back to Mani Manila, <laughs> when, we go back to, when we go back to LA, to Los Angeles, eh, uh, we will continue on with our devotion all right, and Bible reading. No? So we also promote yung uh, ma, ma, ma expose tayo sa Biblia. That's why kanina ang dami talaga dito na nag, uh, nag-recite ng kanilang Bible verses. Kasi gusto na lang talagang talunin ng bawat isa. Close fight daw, balita ko eh. Alright? So, let's move. Uh, we started with, yeah, with Exodus 1 and then uh, Exodus 2, March 6. We got to know Moses. You know, the deliverer of uh, Israel. And then, 
uh, uh, we, 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 we got to know his birth, no, yung kanyang uh, paglaki doon sa Egypt. Ang sabi natin, the first 40 years ng life ni Moses ay nasa Egypt being a prince. Alright? And then he got exiled saan? sa Midian because he killed one of the uh, Pharaoh's men. So, April 3, we talked about Moses being exiled and then that would be the next 40 years of Moses' life sa Midian. From, uh, from a prince to being a pipa rin naman, pastor. Pastor of shepherd. Okay? Naging shepherd boy. Na-demote itong si Moses. Pero that is a test of humility, right? Of humbling down to God. And in Exodus 3, we talked about last May 22 uh, about Moses and the burning bush. So this time, the Lord confronted Moses. Okay, so meron siyang task na gagawin. No? He, he was the appointed deliverer for Israel. In Exodus 4, we talked about last June 12, about the miracles, return, and reunion. So the miracles showed by God to Moses that when he will, be, when he will go to Egypt, he will present the same miracles to Pharaoh so that, the, so that Pharaoh will listen and let his people go. All right? So not only to Pharaoh, but he also presented the miracles to all the elders of Israel so that the elders of Israel will trust Moses that God asked him to deliver them from Egypt. And then there was his return to Egypt from a 40-year exile, from uh, being exiled uh, from Midian. And then there was this beautiful reunion of Moses and his brother Aaron. All right? So what happened next? So we will continue on with the story of Moses. Now, isn't his, his life is very, very interesting. But now, not just uh, one chapter, but we will look at you now from Exodus chapter 5 to Exodus chapter 12. And this time, there's a new word for F word. It's freedom. Freedom! Are you familiar with Anasina si Wallace? Right? Braveheart. Diba? William Wallace. Tama ba? Ano yung sinisigaw niya palagi? Freedom! Diba? So talagang, ano, akala nila William Wallace is seven-footer, pero kasi full of, uh, uh, yung, yung heart niya talaga, a lion heart. No? Pero uh, yung kanyang uh, being focused doon sa word na freedom. He wants freedom. Sino ba sa atin dito who wants freedom? Right? Now let's look at the life of Moses. Let's all watch this. Dan, what said he was? He was a great leader. His hands bore the blood of thousands of children. <laughs> Slaves. My people. And I can no longer hide in the desert while they suffer. At your hands. Only to free them. I'm sorry. I do not know this God, neither will I let your people go. Ramesses, please, you must listen. I will not be the weak link. Tell your people, as of today, their workload has been doubled. 
thanks to your God? Or is it thanks to you? See, that is not the biblical, uh, uh, there's no biblical accuracy. Uh, this movie is uh, uh, Moses, no? By uh, Pixar, Bagumoyan. Anyway, uh, we just want to have a, a glimpse of what happened during those times. So, lear uh, learning to ponder what our learning to ponder for this morning. First, Moses confronts Pharaoh, also known as in spiritual realm, Jesus, the deliverer, the true deliverer of us, confronts Satan. What happened? Verse 5, later Moses and Aaron went in and said to Pharaoh, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Let my people go, so that they may hold a festival for me in the wilderness. It's the same thing what happened to the prodigal son when he came to a realization because the Lord, uh, because his father has been praying for him and asking that let the sin of this world, now hopefully that my son will be let go of the sins of this world. But Pharaoh responded, who is the Lord that I should obey him by letting Israel go? I don't know the Lord, and besides, I will not let Israel go. In Filipino, hindi ko kilala ang Diyos mo, kaya hindi ko pakakawalan ang mga slaves ko. At yun, matibay at matigas niyang sinasabi kay Moses. They answered, The God of the Hebrews has met with us. Please let us go on a three-day trip into the wilderness so that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God or else He may strike us with a plague or sword. Kailangan mo kaming payagan, Pharaoh, dahil kapag hindi mo pinawalan ang tao ng Diyos, magkakaroon ng salot sa Ehipto. My consequence. Alright? The king of Egypt said to them, Moses and Aaron, why are you causing the people to neglect their work? Sa Tagalog, Moses, Aaron, eh pal kayo eh, busy kami dito, gumagawa kami ng mga pyramids, busy kami, bakit nyo ba, pina, ba, ba kayo nang gugulo dito? Sabi ni Pharaoh. Get to your labor. Pharaoh also said, look, the people of the land are so numerous and you would stop them from their labor. Tingnan nyo, bising busy ang dami-daming ginagawa ng mga tao. Tapos pupunta kayo dito para patigilin yung trabaho nila. Sasabihin nyo, lahat sila magpa-file ng vacation leave. Malabo yun, sabi ni Pharaoh. Kalabitin mo na yung katabi mo. Tip, sabi mo. Life application. Egypt is the physical Egypt during that time. But Egypt, in spiritual realm, it represents scenes. Some Israelites wanted to stay in Egypt because somehow, nakasanayan na nila doon. Some people wanted to stay in their sinful uh, whatever situation because nakasanayan na nila doon. Pharaoh was the accuser and the enemy. You see, Satan in spiritual realm is our accuser and he is our enemy. O, sige nga, sino dito? 
ay nakaranas for some reason, masama ang pakiramdam nyo bago pumunta dito sa camp. How many of you nakaranas na nagkatampu-tampuhan pa kayo bago kayo pumunta sa camp? How many of you na nakaranas for some reason, may nasirang ganito, may nasirang... Of course, the enemy won't let you come to this camp. Why? Because this place, there is freedom in this place. Amen? Because the Lord wants you out of Egypt. You see, Moses is a deliverer. A deliverer, a deliverer from, a deliverer of Israel from Egypt. But Jesus is our the deliverer, the deliverer of our souls from sins. You see, we need to move out from our Egypt. We need to cut ties and do not believe your Pharaoh. Do not believe the enemy. You need to leave Egypt. No? You need to leave the sinful situations. Because Jesus, no? This time, wala na si Moses. Moses is dead. He was the deliverer of Israel from Egypt. Our deliverer lives forever. Amen? Do you agree with that? Our deliverer lives forever. And Jesus alone saves. Amen? Second thing to ponder, no? Dapat nating pagbulay-bulayan. Number two, they experience further oppression. No, itong Israel from Egypt. What happened? Kasi nga, sabi ni, ni Moses, palayain mo yung mga tao namin, let our people go. But the problem is, nag-init ang ulo ni Pharaoh. So, anong ginawa niya? Tingnan natin kung anong ginawa niya. The day Pharaoh commanded the overseers of the people as well as their foremen, don't continue to supply the people with straw for making bricks as before. They must go and gather straw for themselves, but require the same cut of bricks from them as they, make, as they were making before. Do not reduce it, for they are slackers. That is why they are crying out. Let us go and sacrifice to our God, impose heavier work to the, to, on, on the men, they will be occupied with it and not pay attention to deceptive words. Ang linaw na sinabi ni Pharaoh. Bawasan niyo yung materyales, pero same pa rin ang demand na papagawa natin. Kasi mga tamad yan eh. Kung ano-ano mga iniisip nila na kesyo daw uh, uh, let them go and magsasacrifice daw sila sa just just nila kung sino man yon sabi ni Pharaoh. No, ang gawin nyo, mag-impose kayo ng mas mabigat na trabaho, sinabihan nyo kayo ng mga overseers, yung sa, kumbaga, mga foreman niya, no? at ang sabi niya, kapag occupied sa trabaho itong mga to, then, hindi malilimutan na nila yung mga deceptive words ng mga pinagsasabi nila. If they will be occupied. Alright? So, the overseers and foremen of the people went out and said to them, it's the same thing. Kung ano yung sinabi ni Pharaoh, he, the, the foremen of Egypt told the Israelites kung ano yung gustong mangyari ni Pharaoh. No? So, it, so the, nung nalaman nyo ng mga Israelites, the Israelite foremen went in and cried for help to Pharaoh. Yung foremen ng mga, mga Israelites, yung mga leaders nila sa construction, Pumunta kay Pharaoh, umiyak sila. Sabi nila, Pharaoh, why are you treating your servants this way? No straw has been given to your servants. Yet they say to us, make bricks. Look, your servants are being beaten, but it is your own people who are at fault. Pharaoh, napaka-unfair mo naman. Binawasan mo yung materyales, pero gusto mo the same yung amount na mapuproduce namin. So, Nahihirapan kami, pero kayo ang may kasalanan, kaya kami nahihirapan. Yun sinabi ng Israelites foreman kay Pharaoh. But he said, ito yung sagot ni Pharaoh, doon sa mga Israelites foreman, 
You are slackers. Slackers. Sabi mo, sabi mo, tamad. Tamad daw. Di tamad siya. Hindi siya tamad yung katabi mo. Tamad daw yung mga Israelites. No? That is why you are saying, let us go sacrifice to the Lord. Now get to work. No straw will be given to you, but you must produce the same quantity of bricks. So mainit ang ulo ni Pharaoh. The Israelite foreman saw that they were in trouble when they were told, you cannot reduce your daily cut of bricks. When they left Pharaoh, eto na, masama loob nila. They confronted Moses. Kau kasi! Sino ka ba? Ba't ka bumalik-balik dito? They confronted Moses and Aaron who stood waiting to meet them. So yung sisi, ibinato nila kay Moses at kay Aaron. You see, Moses and Aaron are their pastors. In fact, from Aaron came from, Aaron came from, Moses and Aaron came from what? The tribe of Levi. They are actually technically Levites. Alright? Here's the thing. Life application. Whatever, whenever things are not going our way and we're not, we are disagreeing from God and uh, hindi siya umubra sa buhay natin, what are we going to do is that we are so selfish, sisisihin na natin lahat ng tao sa mundo except ako. Right? Tapansin niyo ba yun? Late ka for work. You're late for work. And then your boss asks you, why are you late? Boss, uh, we, were, we, we, we are eight in the family in our house. There are only one bathroom. So I had to wait for my other family members to finish. Then wake up early. Why are you late? Boss, because of the traffic, there's a... There's a the, the, the policeman, he caused a lot of traffic. And there's uh, two idiots that uh, uh, met an accident. So, boss, it's not my fault. Why are you late? Oh, boss, because of the, in the Philippines, because of the security guard. No ID, no entry. I forgot my ID. So, I, I tell you, boss, we should change the security guard. Lahat, sisisihin mo, Pera lang ang sarili mo. Ganun na ganun din to eh. Ito mga Israelites, they will put the blame to Pharaoh at first, but if they cannot, because Pharaoh is Pharaoh, they will be killed. So, instead of uh, facing their own troubles, they went to Moses and they put all the blame to Moses and Aaron. Same thing with us. If things are not working in our lives, sometimes we, we blame our pastors, right? The reason why I'm not go, growing because my pastor didn't call me up. My pastor didn't pray for me. My pastor, we, we will blame the pastors instead of having an introspection, right? Let's look at verse 21. May the Lord take note of you and judge, they said to them. Because you have made us reek to Pharaoh and his officials, putting a sword in their hand to kill us. No, sabi nila, Moses, no, sana i-judge kay ni Lord Aaron. Kasi kaya nag-init ang ulo ni Pharaoh dahil sa inyong dalawa. Kami tuloy ang nahirapan. So Moses went back to the Lord. Masama ang loob. Lord, labo naman eh. Why have you caused trouble for these people? You asked me from Midian to go back to Egypt. And then I did my part, showed the miracles, explained it to Pharaoh. The people are excited to go. But what happened is that Pharaoh never agreed. So now, ako ang sinisisi, Lord. And why did you ever send me? Bakit mo pa ako sinend, Lord? Ito naman, sa part naman naming mga lingkod ng Diyos. Pag hirap na hirap na kami, umiiyak din kami sa Diyos. Lord, Lord, bakit ganito? Tinawag mo akong magpastor. 
Ever since I went into Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has caused trouble for these people. And you haven't rescued your people at all. Nasaan ka, Lord? Bakit hindi mo ginagawa yung promised mo? Kalabitin mo katabi mo, baka nakakatulog na eh. Tip, kasi puyat yung kagabi. Tip. Tip mo, tip. Theory and practice. Puyat na, busog pa. Napakahirap na kalaban yan. Lord, bakit mo ba ako dinala dito magpastor? Mag, Mag-preach ako sa mga taong puyat at busog. Mahirap to Lord. Alright? I tell you the truth. Life application, expect struggles. Expect, stra- expect struggles. No? It will be uh, it, it will be difficult if somebody tells you, hey, join ka sa church namin. Pag naborn again ka, wala kang problema. Masaya ang buhay kristyano. Sino ngaling yun? Ang kristyano, nagkakakanser pa rin. Amen? Ang kristyano, nag-aaway pa rin ang mag Amen? Ang kristyano, nababalian pa rin ang boto. Ang kristyano, nagkakaproblema pa rin. In fact, sometimes, there are more struggles when you become a Christian. Right? But the, but the good news is, before, you don't have a deliverer. But now, you have Jesus in your heart and He can deliver you in His own time. Sometimes, feeling mo parang unasan ka, Lord. Pero, Remember, the Lord will never, ever be late. He is always on time. Alam nyo, when you accept Jesus as a personal Lord and Savior, for those people na nagpabaptize kahapon, life will not be as easy as ABC. Di ba madali lang naman ang ABC, mga bata? Subukan natin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Come on, children. H, I, J, K, elementary. Ay, ele- <laughs> Di ba? Ay, sa challenge ko kayo. Di ba? Ang bilis naman. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Ang bilis lang, di ba? Sige nga, challenge ko kayo. Pabaliktad. <laughs> Ilang points daw. <laughs> it's life when you're not yet a Christian, it's as easy as ABC. Why? Because you're used to it. But now that you're a Christian, there is this God who are your who are you uh, who who you are following and you need to listen to. So, life will not be as easy as ABC, but now, the good news is that, the good news is that you have a deliverer. You see, just like what the biblical characters experience, the backsliding of Peter, it's not easy. Remember, you've been with Jesus for the longest time, and then yet three times mo siyang dininahid. Sickness, like Job, the boils, Right? Remember? The temptations, like uh, what, what David experienced, si, si Bathsheba, the difficult situations like immigration status, financial hardship, you know, illness, everything. This will be thrown at you by the enemy. Hello? Everything will be a struggle. In fact, you will learn how to eat breakfast how to eat struggle as a breakfast being a Christian. Expect struggles. It will be difficult. Same problem, but different God. There will be adulterous same-sex relationships, drug abuse, fornication, greed, alcoholism, porn addiction, pride, excessive smoking, lustful desires, uncontrolled gambling, selfishness, lying, disrespectful to parents, etc., etc., because people at the end of the age will be what? Lovers of themselves. So 
the world will continue to deteriorate, but your soul will continue on and on and on eternally. Why? Because you have Jesus, your deliverer. Amen? So sabi mo, wag ka, nang, wag ka nang magulat sa katabi mo. May struggle talaga ang buhay. Expect struggles. It will be difficult. Your Pharaoh will double time to put more burden on your shoulders. Pharaoh put more burden sa shoulders sa mga Israelites para malimutan nyo yan just nyo at kung ano nang pinagsasabi nyo. The same thing, Satan will put burden sa shoulders mo so that para kalimutan mo yung Diyos mo, para sisihin mo ang Diyos mo. But do not believe the lies of the enemy because the word of the Lord says, Matthew 11.30, For my yoke is easy and my burden is life. Amen? Sabi niya, sabi ng enemy, I will put more burden sa shoulders mo. Kapag hindi ka nagbabasa ng Biblia, hindi mo alam to. Amen? Ang gagawin ng Lord, ang gagawin ni Satan, dadagdagan niya uli ng burden ang, ang balikat mo. Since hindi mo alam yung Biblia, maniniwala ka sa kanya. Pero a wise believer feeds himself. Devour the Word of God every day so that every time you will be confronted by the enemy, you will just answer the enemy. Okay, put burden on my shoulders, bring it on. But my Lord says, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Is your relationship a burden to you? My yoke is easy and my burden is light. From now on, I will not see my wife or husband as a burden, but I will give it to God because when He gives a yoke on my shoulders, it will be light. Amen? Is illness a burden to you? How many people na pinagpray natin every Wednesday? Grabe yung sakit, pero gumaling. Right? Na witness yan, yung mga Wednesday prayer warriors, right? How many people? Because his yoke is easy and his burden is light. Okay? God promises freedom. Ito na, umiiyak na si Moses kay Lord. Lord, bakit mo ba ako tinawag dito? And then he remembered, Oh, you promised freedom. Let's look at. Then God spoke to Moses, telling him, I, the Lord, appeared to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as God Almighty, but I was not known to them by, the, by my name, the Lord. Kung baga, pinaalala niya kay Moses, he, 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 uh, he uh, allowed Moses to remember who he is, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Kung baga, flex na ng muscle si Lord. Pinakita niya na yung resibo niya. Moses, nalimutan mo na ba? May resibo ko kay Abraham. May resibo ko kay Isaac. May resibo ko kay Jacob. Bakit ka natatakot? I also established my covenant with them to give them the land of Canaan, the land they live in as aliens. Furthermore, I have heard the groanings of the Israelites whom the Egyptians are forcing to work as slaves and I have remembered my covenant. Sometimes we see ourselves as a loser, but the Lord see us as a victor. You have a choice this morning. Do you want to be a victim or a victor? Or a victim? A victim? Gusto mo ba mag victim or maging victor? Victor. All right. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, tip, tip. God promises freedom. Your deliverer is here. He was here before Adam or Adam and he will live forever. 
is the Alpha and Omega, is the creator of heaven and earth. So, bakit mo siya pagdududaan? When he says that I will free you, he will do it. Because he is not a man who will lie. Your deliverer is here. Do you have problems? Your deliverer is here. The Lord, your God, has heard you. Yung matagal mo nang iniiyak, He has heard you. Right? Lord, tagal ko naman. I'm having immigration problems. Lord, I have, I have sickness na parang sabi ng doktor, mahirapan ako. Lord, yung relationship ko sa, sa asawa ko, sa nanay ko, sa kapitbahay ko, Lord, ba't ganun? Napakasawar. Na. He has heard you. Amen? Because God wants you to experience freedom. God wants you free. Number four, the plague. So, nag-respond si Lord. Moses, I, w- I remembered what I told you. I pulled you out from Midian, and I still remember my promise. Now, to show you that I am true to my word, and when I say, if you don't let my people go, I will send plague, I will send plague. Let's watch this. To make you laugh was all I ever wanted. And even now, I wish that God had chosen another, serving as your foe on his behalf. It's the last thing that I wanted. This was my home. All this pain and devastation, how it tortures me inside. All the innocent who suffer from your stubbornness and pride. You who I call brother, why must you call down another blow? Lord, let my people go, but I will harden Pharaoh's heart and multiply my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt. Pharaoh will not listen to you, but I will put my hand into Egypt and bring the military divisions of my people, the Israelites, out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment. The Egyptians will know that I am the Lord. When I stretch out my hand against Egypt and bring out the Israelites far from among them. So, Egypt is equal sins, right? In a spiritual realm. So, if there's sins, 
the wages of sins is death. There will always be consequences, right? So what happened is that Moses, I remember all my promises. Now, he didn't listen. I will send the plagues. Sampu ito. Ten plagues. Nagpadala siya ng waters turned to blood. Now, imagine nyo, yung mga rivers, it turned to blood. No? Frogs, umulan ng palaka. Kung sa, sa Pampanga to, matutuwa yung mga tao doon kasi ginagawa nilang, ginagawa nilang adobo yan. Eh. Di ba? Umulan ng lice. Ano yun? Uh, uto or mga maliliit na niknik. Umulan ng flies. Mosquitoes, flies. No? Ayaw pa rin i-release ni Pharaoh, yung tao. Disease on livestock. Patay lahat ng mga baka. Salot. Siguro nagkaroon ng FMD. Ferdinand Marcos, this is joke. Joke lang, joke lang. Madami makaleni dito. Tapos na eleksyon kayo naman. No? Okay. Unhealable boils. Ang daming, hindi, hindi gumagaling na pigsa. Ayaw pa rin ilet go ni Pero. Tibay. Okay, eto malupit. Nagpadala si Lord ng hail and fire. So nakakita na kayo ng hail, right? Minsan parang mga, ano yan eh, uh, mga matitigas na, na parang yelo, right? Eto hindi, ano, tubig. Mga bulalakaw to, apoy. Right? Ayaw pa rin ni Pharaoh, nagpadala ng locust. Mga tipaklong, mga kung ano na mga insekto, dinivar nila yung mga farmland. Ayaw pa rin ni-release ni Pharaoh. Nagpadala siya ng darkness. You see, pag may darkness, walang araw, patay lahat ng halaman. Right? Ayaw pa rin i-release ni Pharaoh. Antigas ng ulo. Pero sabi ni, Mo, sabi ni Lord, sigurado, sa pangsampu, i-release mo ang tao ko. Sa pangsampu, lahat ng firstborn will die. Lahat ng unang anak ng mga hayop, mamamatay. At lahat ng panganay, mamamatay. Taas ang kamay ng mga panganay. Taas ang kamay, mga panganay. Ayan. Ako rin, panganay din ako. Mabuti na lang ngayon tayo na buhay. Kung panahon ni Moses, yari tayo. Dahil mga firstborn, patay. Imagine nyo, what happened? Kalabitin mo katabi mo, tip. Theory and practice. I, know, I was sent by my company before sa Asian Institute of Management for a management development program na kung saan mag-aaral kayo ng ilang linggo. Alright? So, one thing that I learned from that course is that sabi ng speaker, do not Rock the boat when your boss is in it. Naintindihan natin? Nakasakay kayo sa bangka, huwag mong kalugin. Pag nandun, nakasakay din ang boss mo. Pag nag-init ang ulo ng boss mo, bukas wala ka ng trabaho. Right? It makes sense. So pinalalahanan niya kami mga middle management, do not rock the boat kapag nandyan ang CEO or CFO, yung Chief Finance Officer or yung COO yung Chief Operating Officer, a.k.a. COO, Child of the Owner. Kaya sa yung tagapagmana. Alright? You see, it's the same thing. That's business. That's in business sense. It's the same thing. Same principle. We are not the same weight class with God. Hello? Hindi mo siya kapeso. Sa boxing, kumbaga, isa kang Manny Pacquiao, siya Tyson, heavyweight. Kahit gaano ka kagaling sumuntok, tatalunin ka pa rin ng heavyweight. Right? Hindi kayo, mismatch kayo ni Lord. So it's very unwise like Pharaoh na makipag-contest kay Lord. Amen? Kung si Pharaoh na powerful, he owns Egypt, he was the United States of America during that time, and yet, no, has the audacity na labanan si Lord hindi nanalo, 
paano ka pa? Paano pa ako? Paano tayo? The why pick a fight with the creator of heaven and earth? Even yung Asian Institute of Management is reminding us not to pick a fight sa boss mo na tao lang. Eh bakit ka makikipag-away, makikipaglaban, makikipagtalo sa creator of heaven and earth? God is all-powerful. May I remind you, Jeremiah 32.17, ha? God is all-powerful. It is unwise to go against God. Kasi sasapitin nyo yung sinapit ni Pharaoh. The more you struggle against God, the more you prolong your agony. Amen? I remember a story of my two kids. Ulaan nyo nalang sa tatlo kung sino sila. No? The, the elder one no? saw the younger one broke something. So, this wise elder one told the younger one, I saw you. Remember, I was in the background. They don't dare not see me. So, I, 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 I was able to witness everything. So, the elder one approached right away the younger one. I saw what you did. You broke that. And I will tell it right away to dad. Come on, come on. And the younger one said, please don't do it. I will do everything. Okay, wash the dishes. <laughs> and then the following day, the scheduled person to clean the house is the elder one. Hey, sweep the floor. It's not my schedule. Sweep the floor, or else I will tell it to dad. <laughs> You have to do it. And yet, one day, one day, he can't take it anymore. Ay, nasabi ko yung gender. <laughs> so, si, kilala niyo na yung masyadong, ano, kilala niyo yung panganay na masyadong tuso. <laughs> Kasi wala pa yung isa eh, wala pa yung bunso nun eh. Sa Pilipinas nangyari yun. Sabi niya, I can't take it anymore. Mi yak yak pa yun eh. Ito yung exact words niya. I can't take it anymore, ate. I will go to dad and tell everything. Sabi niya. Now, I can take it. Kasi pagod na siya eh. Dami niya ng ginawa. <laughs> and I just told him. And then he went to me. And he said, Dad, I broke this. I, ho- I hope. Uh, okay, uh, uh, I'm ready for the punishment. Uh, ano na siya? Uh, dadapa na siya. Yung papaluin na eh. Sabi ko, no, it's okay. I saw everything. Sabi ko ganun. You're forgiven. Ano saya-saya niya? No? Binalikan niya yung ate niya. Ha! Hindi mo na ako mautusan. <laughs> it's the same principle. Admit. Repent. Move on. And be free. Amen? Yun lang. Admit to God that you sin against Him. Repent. Move on. And live a life of freedom. Or else, if you conceal your sins, every day the accuser will accuse you. Oh, simba, simba. Kapal. Alam ko yung ginawa mo kanina. Every day, the enemy will accuse you. I tell you the truth. But if you will repent to God, Ano sabi ng Panginoon? The new has come. The old has gone. May bagong version sila eh. Pinapalitan nilang pilit. Sabi ng mga kalalakihan, the new has gone, the old has come back. Huwag <laughs> niyo, niyo paniniwalaan yung version nila. Okay? <laughs> hindi, hindi biblika yan. <laughs> okay, so the Lord, the Lord, uh, made sure that he, uh, that, that, that the Israelites will see that he is uh, true to his promise. So after he sent the plague, yung final plague to kill all the firstborn, eto na yung salvation. Sabi niya, this will not apply to your animals. Especially, this will not apply to all who are Israelites na firstborn. A.K.A. Spiritual, spiritual realm. 
ikaw ang new Israel. Tell the person, tell the person next to you, you are the new Israel. So covered ka. You're covered with the blood. Covered with the blood of God. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? You must have an unblemished animal, a year old male. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You are to keep it until the 14th day of this month. Then the whole assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter the animals at twilight. They must take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses where they eat them. Simple na instructions. Pagkatay kayo ng sheep or goat, kunin yung dugo, ipahid nyo doon sa doorpost ng bahay nyo. Kasi pagka dumaan yung angel of death at nakita na may pahid na dugo, lalagpasan kayo. The new lamb is Jesus. May pahid ka ng dugo sa katawan mo ni Jesus dahil tinanggap mo siya. Kaya kahit ano, ang sumpa sa iyo ng enemy, lalagpasan ka. Amen? Why? Because it's a promise. Hindi lang yun. You get to eat. You meet for feasting. Ibig sabihin, you get to eat the harvest. Right? Because the blood of the lamb nasa iyo. Kaya nga lagi natin sinasabi when we are praying for those people who are sick, by the blood of the Lamb of Christ, by His stripes, you are healed. Amen? Amen? See, hindi ka kasali sa sumpa. You must not leave of it until morning and any part of it left until morning. Yun lang, huwag kang matigas ang ulo. Pag sinabing sa loob ka lang, huwag kang lalabas. Kasi kung Israelite ka, may doorpost ka nga, sa doorpost mo, may blood nga, lumabas ka naman ng bahay, patay ka. Christian ka nga, linggo-linggo nagsisimba ka, lumabas ka naman sa Panginoon, tatamaan ka. Naintindihan natin? Pag sinabi ng Lord, huwag kang lalabas, dyan ka lang, safe ka, huwag kang lalabas. Amen? Alright. Tip. Sabi mo sa katabi mo. Tip. Alright. Passover honors resilience amid adversity. In fact, one of Judaism's most widely celebrated holidays, Passover com- commemorates the Israelites' liberation from enslavement in ancient Egypt. Until now, ginagawa nila tong Passover celebration. At ikinukwento nila sa mga anak nila. Yun nangyari sa Egypt. But until now, 2022, alam nyo ba that the Egypt nowadays, hindi nila ina-acknowledge na nangyari yan. Exactly. So, Passover in Hebrew, Pesach or Pesach in Judaism, holiday commemorating the Hebrews' liberation from slavery in Egypt and the passing over of the forces of destruction or the sparing of the firstborn of the Israelites when the Lord smote the land of Egypt on the eve of the Exodus. So outside, there are, they were crying, moaning, agonizing. In the inside, there's feasting. Eating, merrymaking, safe environment, right? Because the blood from the lamb were, were uh, uh, nilagay sa doorpost, yung meat of the lamb, they eat it for feasting. Ayaw niyo ba may experience yun? Even though they say that this world is decaying, but inside God's presence, we are safe. Amen? You see, just as for Jews, Passover represents the redemption from slavery and the deliverance to freedom. For Christians, it represents the ultimate redemption of humankind through the life and death of Jesus. Last, Exodus. Last learning to ponder. The time... The Israelites lived in Egypt 
was 430 years. Oh, para tong ano, pamilya tayo dito. Almost 400 tayo. No, almost 400 years tayo under Spanish regime. All right? At the end of the 430 years on that same day, all the Lord's military divisions went out from the land of Egypt. It was a night of vigil in honor of the Lord because He would bring them out of the land of Egypt. This same night is in honor of the Lord, a night vigil for all the Israelites and throughout their generations. Then all the Israelites did this. They did just as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. On that same day, the Lord brought the Israelites out of the land of Egypt according to their military divisions. Tip. Muling tip na to. Exodus literally means a mass departure of people, especially immigrants. We are Exodus. We are an exodus from where? The Philippines here to the U.S., right? Hindi naman tayo in exile, pero ano ba yung literal na meaning ng exodus? What does exodus literally mean? It means the road out, palabas. Alright? The word itself was adapted into English via Latin from Greek exodus, which literally means the road out. The Greek word was formed by combi combining the prefix ex, meaning out of. Diba? Kaya nga tawag mo sa ex-boyfriend mo ay ex kasi nga out of your life. Okay? Pabuti pa si Lord pinaglaban ng Israelites, ikaw hindi. <laughs> And hodos road Or way. So, X out of Hodos road or way. So, ibig sabihin, pa-exit sila palabas. Okay? Kaya yung book ng Exodus ay pinangala ng Exodus. Dahil ibig sabihin, to exit, to road out. Lalabas mula Egypt, mula kasalanan, papunta sa freedom. Again, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Diba? Oh, wag kayo makikinig sa mga boys. <laughs> Something new is here. So from a being a, 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 an ugly caterpillar, ugly pupa, naging beautiful butterfly. Dami nga tabi mo, napakaganda. Apagwapo. Die with Jesus. No? Die with Jesus. Let your old self die and your new self live. Pag bumangon pa yan, ibaon mo ulit. Kasi malaya ka na kapatid. Tell the person next to you, malaya ka na kapatid. There's a, there, there's a, new, there's a new meaning sa F word. And that is freedom. Right? That is freedom. Okay? So yung mga... Those who are na nabaptize kahapon, no, kung may, may, may katabi kayo na nabaptize kahapon, tell that person, malaya ka na, kapatid. Because you publicly declare that Jesus is Lord. I'd like to call on the worship team as we uh, have our take out. No? The story of Exodus teaches us about our people's yearning to be free. An, ed an, ed an, an edict that's relevant today. Take your road out from sins. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, be free. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, Pharaoh, let my people go. 2022, ang sabi ng Panginoon, Satan, you don't have any right to my children. Let them go. Amen? Now, you are free. Nobody else can save you and trust. You need to trust Jesus today. I'd like to ask everyone to please stand.